Hello, this is Umbra from Umbra Shadow Gaming. Trying out a new game, Dawn of Man. Actually, I got this game at Christmas time and I logged quite a few hours on it. I got 9 of the 10 first milestones, and no matter how hard I tried, I could not get that 10th milestone. But there's a second map, so I think I will take you guys through and we'll figure out this game together. It's a pretty fun game, it's a city builder game. You start as uh, the ancient man, and you work all the way, you work your way all the way through till the Iron Age. And as you advance, you get new tech, new buildings. I find it quite enjoyable, so I hope you guys will too. Let's get into it then, shall we? Then I actually just got a new mic. Me and my wife are looking to adoption, and we needed a webcam and also a mic so that they could see and hear us for the adoption stuff and i got myself a yeti mic so it seems to me the quality is quite a bit better let me go let me know what you guys think and i will link to it in the description all right let's get into it then shall we new game continental dawn i got nine out of the ten I was so close. I actually had 200 plus people at one point in time, but then I got major starvation. Everyone died off. And I've not been able to achieve it first. I think it's largely due to the fact that as you advance, first it's just animal attacks, and then the raider attacks, and then the farther you advance, the stronger the raider attacks get, the more people that attack. And I just I hadn't been able to recover. So I finally gave up on that for now. But we are going to do the Northland. This is more challenging, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, where should we start? The lakes look good. Uh, nice forest is also good. Rivers. Honestly, I think this looks like a good starting location. So, sell it name. Ragnar. No, it will be Umbra Land. Sure, why not? Location Twin Lakes, Game of Normal, Settled. We can do Nomad, which is where we can actually choose where we want to get our base built. I've never done that, so let's try that, shall we? Hmm, long winter, short summers. We'll see how it goes. Start. I've enjoyed this game a lot. Been wanting to record on it for a little bit, but I want to get the 10th milestone because that unlocks the most difficult mode. Haven't quite succeeded at it. All right, so pretty simple. Tap is your primitive view, as they call it, and it lets you look around. And everything green is things that you can harvest, like trees for fruit, animals you can get. The darker the color of the animal, the harder they are to kill. So over here we got, you know, an elf mistrum. Well, this is early, early on. Actually, if we go to F5, no, F5, okay, this is all the milestones I need to get, I yet to do that, but I should be able to get most of these fairly easily. You actually, I like, um, here you can add a whole bunch of different things, right in here is all my resources, you can plus it, I also want to add defense. That way I can alert everyone, close all my gates, open all my gates, and put everyone back to normal. And over here, I thought it's a good idea to keep track of food. Actually, probably straw. And yeah, let's make it food. And let's go over here. Let's make this straw. Straw, I don't think we can even get right now. It's too early on, so I'll worry about that later on. But you need a lot for the later, later part of the game. Here is um, the tech tree, essentially. And, you know, you start in the Paleolithic Age, and you work all your way through to the Iron Age. And as you advance through the ages, more and more creatures go extinct, and you get more and more technology, and it becomes a very interesting game. We got nothing right now, we got six people. I think our goal is to find a nice, safe place to build. Honestly, I return takes you to your base, which I guess is where I am now. It's not technically a base. We've got some resources over here. Copper, iron. We won't need these resources for a very, very long time. I really want flat land, though. 
But I do want to be close to the water. Can we build right here? I'm not quite sure. That should be interesting. A lot, a lot of work to do. What else is around this area? Oh, here we go. We got red. Cave lions. Yeah. Fun times. Oh, there's a lake here also. And there's a lake here also. So, what if we built in between? I would actually not mind being higher up, but... Like right in here might be really good for a certain location. Easy access to both lakes, which will give me fish for early on in the game. Is there anything else that I really want to see? It's been just pretty, pretty mountainous. I think, let's see if there's anything else worth exploring. Lots and lots of mountains. I would really like a nice, large, flat area where I can just build, because all these mountains make it difficult. There's advantage to the mountains, it can protect you. But you can climb up all this stuff, it's only these rocks you can't get past. Any better location? Not really seeing it. Hmm. Interesting, so that's the edge of the map. I mean, that's kind of flat, there's no water nearby. Even after 60 hours of playing this game, I still don't quite really understand. It takes a long time to get good at it, I think. This stuff, we can cut up later. later. This is Megalith, which I'll talk about as we advance farther in the game. Okay, well, I'm get, I mean, this is pretty flat-ish. But I'm really thinking right here might be good. So... Let's start there, shall we? Gains people keep at one for now. You can go two, three, four, whatever, but build, residence, tent, storage, storage tent, wood pile, production, hearth. Hearth lets you make food as a place to socialize, if you will. We'll get that working on. We're also going to need a crafter so it can make stuff. That seems like a good place for that. Skin dryer will be helpful pretty soon here. Let's not worry about that right now. And we got residence, basic shelters, give you homes. So. Let's build one here. And then let's set these guys down to cutting down trees. Also, I guess we probably want... Actually, the home should be fine for... Nah. Let's build a storage tent also. This is going to be interesting. All right, you guys get working all that. Here's our workload. And then... Next, we have uh, different things we can add. Place work area. So for now, I really want to... Can we not cut down trees yet? Really? Hunt fish, collect and harvest wild plants, obtain stone. Well, I guess we want a fisher then. Typically, you can make it so you get three. Um... Cut down trees. That requires composite tools. We're at 100% workload. Oof. Well, it's going to be interesting. Can we even get composite tools? Um, food drying, sling making. Composite tools. Okay, and we'll get that pretty early on. We're going to need that for sure. Um. Okay, we got a little base going on. I guess for now, what we can do is we can actually place work area. Let's gather sticks right here. Sticks are we can use for fuel. Whew, I'm gonna have to advance pretty quickly, I guess. And we also want a hunter. Let's put a hunter here. And let's make it two per. You can choose how many people you want in the area. And two people fishing. We'll have two people just go around and do normal stuff. 
We got almost six people. So it's gonna be fun. Resources, six meat, one flint, spears, knives. All right. We're also gonna to wanna to build. Obtain stone, because that's important. And also obtain flint. That's good for now. Workload 180%. Maybe, maybe we don't worry about hunting quite yet. Let's cancel that work area. We got a lot of work to do. It's winter time. They all have skin outfits, so that's good. You gotta be able to keep them warm. If you can't keep them warm, well, they'll eventually freeze to death. There's a poof. Oh man, we might need area for this. That little mountain mine's a threat. Alright, so. We're waiting on here, we're waiting on sticks. We're waiting on rocks and sticks. Okay. And you got some flint. You also can create um, production areas, storage areas, if you will. So let's create. I mean, if you put it here, they'll put it there and not waste so much time to get to it from camp. So that's good. And let's also do a wood store next to that. Actually, let's cancel that wood store. Where, where are you, wood store? Yeah, hard to see. Cancel look at that. And let's do a wood store. Maybe, like, somewhere in here. Close to base. Alright. 200% workload. My goodness, I got a lot to do. Well, that's rather entertaining. Dude here decided it was a good idea to store fish. My wood storage. That's right, they'll move it as soon as we get a house up and going. Come on, guys. Hearth, we need a stone for. Crafter, we need sticks for. And a tent we need sticks for. Do we have? Maybe we need like two people gathering sticks to get it done. And then fishermen. Let's take you down to one for now until we get more people up and going. It's micromanagement. It kinda slow, kinda tedious, but I find it quite enjoyable. It's still kinda mad I can't get all these trees chopped down. You don't even think about that, that you actually need tech. These guys will eventually attack me, so that's not good. There might have actually been a better starting area, but oh well, we'll make this work. It's going to take me a little bit to get this thing up and going, but once I can start getting rid of some of these trees, we'll clear the area out, out a lot. Come on guys, let's get stuff built. Fortunately, it's not very, very hard to get tech. Right down here in the corner, it said, acquire 10 sticks plus 1 knowledge. We'll also get 1 knowledge just for surviving winter. And it's it's easy to get knowledge in the very very beginning, but I need composite tools as soon as possible. And to do that, I need to get bone tools probably first, but it shouldn't be too bad. Hundred neighbors at workload. You can click up here. It tells you what their pending tasks are and what their active tasks are. You want the workload to be 150 percent as heavy. The lower the workload, the quicker they get stuff done. So the lower I can get this, the better. A whole bunch of short keys in this game. Like F1 through F12 and 1 through, I think, exclamation, or the little dash symbol. There are things you can do, different things you can bring up. So you can kind of keep a good eye, good eye on everything going on. Over here we got um, welfare, 100%. Measures how well the settlement's doing. The more extra food stuff you have, the better they're doing. Prestige. I think possibly it might be how you win the game. I've never got a thousand. I would have hit a thousand prestige in my first game a long time ago. But I just, I built the last thing I needed to build, and then I ran out of food. And then it took me forever to recover. So I didn't quite get to a thousand. I'm hoping at a thousand you win. But maybe it's just about getting all 10 milestones also. Guess we'll find out. As soon as they get enough, uh, the resources they need, they bring and work on the building. And you can see it being built up here. <laughs> Woohoo, now we have a crafter. Crafter, we don't need to make 
and let me just get outfits. This is the stuff I can make right now. Eventually, you know, you can make all this, but and you get upgraded form. I think in the copper age or something like that that can make like more advanced stuff like composite bows and whatnot. For now, we've got three raw fish, two sticks, two spears, two knives. Wooden harpoons are good for fishing, so let's build about two of those. Um, I got enough spears, I think. Let's make it three spears. And then nice. Let's give everyone a knife. Make three of those. Next, they're constructing a tent. The tent has a cer certain population limit. If they don't have a place to stay, I mean, it doesn't matter right now because I think we just started, but... Zero population means you get no birth. You get no people migrating to your civilization. Which means you could potentially die because your people get old, they can't have kids anymore. And here we go. Food. It says I need 10 food. Recommended. I'm not quite sure exactly how the food works. My goal, I think, is to have at least one food for everyone at all times. At least till summer. Because summer you get to harvest a lot of berries and stuff, and that helps a lot with the food. But yeah. Very important. I'm not sure how much they eat. Give them a place to live. And then we need more skins, and that requires a dryer. Which I don't think I've actually built yet. So, let's build a skin dryer. For now. Storage, no. Production. Let's build skin dryer. Takes up a very, very small amount of space. Here we are, three tech points. So far. And now they got another storage area to store food, or store stuff, which is good. And it can, up to three of them. So I need to get the second tent built so that I can actually support all my guys. And then from there, we'll just keep on building more and more homes as our population slowly grows. And so I just realized that I can't actually even harvest the stones yet. I have to get these piles. These piles over here, if you click on them, it says it needs composite tools. This says you can just gather. So I'm going to gather them all. I was wondering where I was going to get stone from. But pretty soon here, oh, there's another stone pile also. Let's gather that. And let's set up another obtain stone area also obtain stick area and then we will build them storage rock pile and wood pile I'll eventually get spread all the way through here eventually all right 240 percent I'm working these guys way too hard the more you work them they won't, yeah. It's a lot I'm having to try to do. I only have six of them. As soon as I get this next tent built, it will definitely help. I'll let you make bread. And cook food. Like raw fish and whatnot. Plus it provides warmth. Oh, it's so slow in the beginning. Oh well. Four tech points. Soon we'll have five. In which case, then I can start unlocking what I need to unlock. Well, that's fun. I've already exhausted my supply of flint, so we gotta find another one. Gin tab. Seems to be a good option. I know there's some pretty close by. Right here. So, let's set up another work area to gather flint. Alright. These green trees mean they, uh, they gather fruit. Like, that's a surface tree which gives you fruit blueberries pear tree and also another a pear tree so what you can do is they will automatically gather this you can have them automatically gather it in the summer or you can set up an area for them to work in we're gonna go to collect harvest plants should be able to get all of them I think there we go and then come summer they'll pick all that food for me which will be very very nice 
They're finally getting to my hearth, and the hearth can be used. It's where they go to cook up food, but it also can be used to make bread, which we need grain for, and I don't really see any around here. You eventually can grow your own plants, but it takes a while. I really got this up and going, but to do that, we need to hunt. Maybe. Hey, we got five knowledge points, which is awesome. I want the first five knowledge points. I really want this, but I will take bone tools. Because that's why the pre predecessor for composite tools. Then we can start having more fun, at least. Bone harpoon, bone spear. Those are going to be slightly better than the wooden ones. We got that being built, that being built. Let's also add a bone spear and a bone harpoon. Oh, better efficient than the wooden spear. And bone spears it has more attack damage also, which is good. 106% uh, production, so our workload, which isn't great, but it could be worse. I think I'm going to tell them to actually where that thing go? Hunt that moth and thing. But that, I just saw, there it is. This thing we can kill relatively easily, so I'm gonna send someone out there to hunt that. And we'll deal with the bear later. I don't know if it's just because I've been used to playing gain speed too, but dang. Seems like we've been here forever. And that might be a problem later on. Early game won't be an issue because we can get lots of food, but later game we have a lot more population. We have a lot of time to plant, which is nice, but not so much time to harvest. The most harvest that was in fall, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully by next winter we'll have at least two more houses up. That way we can start growing our population. Get that deer. Get that deer. Success. You can click on it and it tells you we'll get three raw meat, two raw skins, and one bone from that thing. Which isn't a lot, but I really need the skins so I can build more tents. Do I have anyone else hunting? Anyone? Task menu says... Nope. And no one's scheduled to hunt either. I guess that's a problem with a really, really small population. Oh well, we got one. And spring's almost here. Come on, spring, hurry up. It's cold. Can you get all that stuff, dude? If not, someone else will come back and get whatever's left. Which is raw skin. Yay, we survived winter, guys. Exciting stuff. Winter is when you plant vegetables. Spring is when you plant uh, your grains and stuff. Of course, I can't do any of that quite yet. But, there are my points that I can at least start getting rid of all these stinking trees. Alright guys, so F1 kind of gives you controls and whatnot. Topics, you can look into the game. F2 gives you the stats of my place. Wuffer's at 94% now. We got 13 prestige. Does your housing, your animals, all that fun stuff. This is our food and drink resources, how much we have. Everything. F4, you can adjust the levels. You know, let's say you want 20 fish are unlimited it's good it will keep your people in check so they won't just keep on <clears throat> getting more and more stuff so that you, you don't need it i think for now everything's pretty good here let's take flint up to 20. let's take stones up to 20. 20 bones seems good yeah, that's a good start i think what's that f5 tells you what you need to do to get all your milestones F6 lets you mobilize people. Yeah, no fuel. Yeah, well. Get some sticks. F7 is tech tree. F8 breaks down your animals more, so it'll tell you how many males and how many females you have. F9, I don't think it does anything. F10 doesn't do anything. F11 doesn't do anything. F12 screenshots. Then you got one for one time speed, two for two time speeds, three for four time speed, and four for. 8 times speed. 5 just breaks down your food charts. Click on whatever you want, workload. 
domestic animals, population, straw, food. Six is activities, the way everyone's doing. Seven is all the tasks that are currently. This is activity. This is all the tasks they have lined up, what they're currently doing, what they're going to do next. Eight. You know, I still haven't quite figured out. I think as you get these filled up, you get knowledge points. Like I have one crafter. Once I get three hearts, I'll get something. Once I get five tenths, I'll get something, so on and so forth. Plus all the things. Acquire ten raw meat, and all that will help me to get more knowledge. Nine is all your structures. Two tenths. Five storages, three productions. I think that's everything that's going to be built. I don't think it's anything yet. Megalith is zero, which you get on later on in the game. Exclamation mark lets you see other areas you have, and you can take people off them if you if you want to. And plus minus, it does nothing. So, quick breakdown of all that. Oh, we're at 127%. As you can see, it dropped from red to normal. It says workload is high that people might take longer to complete tasks, but they'll get them all done. Possibly. That just takes skins. Uh, we're still waiting on the dry skins. We do have a skin dryer now, which is good. And you can click this. This means it'll make it infinity of them. You can have two on there at a time. But if you want to control that, you can right click on it. And then choose how many you want. I for one will just keep it on infinity. You guys don't have any fuel, really? Ooh, yeah. Oh, there's sticks. We'll get some sticks. And you got two sticks there. I swear these people sometimes they can't do anything for themselves. Fortunately, one more tech point, and I will be able to research what I want. I lost tools. All right now, it's making a dry skin at 16% of the way. And it's 12% of the way to the second dry skin, because there's one on each side. I'll eventually add more of these, but for now, this is a good start. Now that it's springtime, you can see there's way, way, way more people on the map. I also realized, completely at last game, that you actually can capture creatures instead of trading for them. But, you know, whatever. For now, I don't even have someone hunting. I want someone to start hunting, but they're all too busy doing other tasks. Hunting's not even on the list. Crafting wooden spare, building tent, building storage tent. That's our next task. You're making fuel. You're crafting. You're fishing. And you're gathering resources. Uh, small populations suck. I think my highest was almost 250. And then I couldn't get past 150 in the Iron Age. I think part of that was I built my walls too big, and so they'd come in, and it took my guys forever to get to the... There's no homes, because I had planned to expand a lot at first. But then I lost almost all my population. I didn't need more housing, so I built more walls, and I probably shouldn't have. That make them come to my gate, and I would have rallied troops quicker. Plus, rare attacks just suck, because then your people have to quit doing what they're doing, like harvesting plants, unless you select groups of them, which might be a good option, honestly, considering what happened. What I've been dealing with in my other game. Uh, I get so close to 150 for the final, for the final milestone, and then it's like, oh, Raider Tech, oh, you lost 20 people. Oh, you're starving. I'm like, dang, nab it. It sucks. So, I don't even, I don't even know. Maybe I need to set a higher priority on my fields, which I think I, I did the first time. Because you can select things. And you click on uh, set to high priority. And they'll prioritize those things first before other stuff. So it's a good way to really focus on things that you need to get done. It's so for here. Oh, we need two of these. And then we can build another tent. But we still need a third tent. Residence tent. Sure. Put you right here. That way we can actually start growing our population before everyone gets old and dies. It doesn't take long. You have a kid, and then within a year or two, they're fully grown, and then they have kids a few years later. And I could have everyone get old very, very quickly, and then they couldn't have any kids, and then I'd lose the game. So, <laughs> oh, so slow. 
I think I made that manually hunt something else. Adult male. Young female. Let's kill the male. Hunt. I'm just waiting for my next whatever to give me the skill point I need so I can start cutting down all these trees. Oh, they're both going to hunt. Kill that thing pretty quickly. Kill the male, they're worth least. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Good job, guys, good job. I'm gonna harvest him. I already exhausted my flint area. Goodness gracious. Do I have more flint somewhere else? I mean, I'm sure I do, but... What's this? Flint. Alright, so let's build... No. We're going to... Place work area. Obtain flint. Alright. And then you actually can click on the work area itself, and you can choose how many people you want to work on it, and you can increase the maximum. So, let's take it to 30 units of flint for now. Though I do really need more storage, but I do got plenty of wood and stone storage, so that should be fine for now. Okay. Come on, fifth tech point. If you're looking around, you might notice that animals, your people will automatically go harvest them, unless they're your animal. So you can't click on them, and then you hit butcher. This should give me enough skins to do everything I want to do. Once people come and uh, gather everything. We still got this, this, and this. When they haven't gathered them, I don't know. Probably because my people are doing other stuff. Gathering sticks. You're gathering. What? Oh, it's summertime. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, they're gathering fruit. I guess that makes sense. Not sure where they're going to put the fruit, but hopefully soon everything will be up and running. Fruit's good. It doesn't last very long compared to meat, but it is harvest rather quickly, so it makes it, if you got a lot of fields and stuff, you can survive off fruit for a while. I try to make it last all the way till the following summer, but that rarely happens. Even if it gets through spring, I'm happy, but generally it's gone by winter. All right, guys. Well, we are hunting this cave land. A little risky. You can see that they're red, but they're really, really weak. Look at their stats. Almost dead. So I should be able to kill them relatively easily. The lion shouldn't attack me. Because they're just cubs. Cubs don't typically attack. And dead. Sweet. That is my fifth knowledge point. That means composite tools. Thank you very much. Which means now... I can build... Axes. Give me a couple axes. And I really want all this area cut out. So let's uh, cut down trees. Yeah. Gotta be a little careful because sometimes I cut down fruit trees. But for now, I just want more space to build. So that is awesome. Honestly, guys, this seems like a pretty good stopping point to me. I hope you guys are enjoying this. By all means, let me know down in the comments below. I release new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We have no picks. Tuesday, great. Tuesday is a vlog. Thursday and Saturday. Currently, video game videos. I do a lot of different games. Oh, let's get this thing queued up with some flint picks to those. So make sure you check out my channel. I also have a second channel if you're interested. If you're interested in vlogging, want to get to know me on a more personal level, that is the Saliers. I'll attach some affiliate links in the description below. I'll also list my Discord if you guys want to join me on there, maybe play a game with me. By all means, let me know what you think of this game. And I will talk to you guys later. Until next time. Let's say keep surviving. But that's my Imperian cutout. So. Don't die. I guess. Bye guys.